All right, guys, Dramatic Lab number 17. We're rocking and rolling. So this one, I'm not going to give you anything. What I'm going to do is I'm providing you with a diagram. You've got to walk through this diagram, find all the bits and pieces that you need uh, on your board and your tackle box, and there's no description whatsoever. All it is is hook it up and make it work uh, and see how, how this circuit is actually working. A few things I want you to keep track of are that uh, right here you can see that this speed control is like a martini glass. So you can see that that's not really working for you. Hang on for a minute. Um, right here, the speed controls are set up like this. Okay. So keeping track of those guys, you'll decide which one is for the extend and which one is for the retract. Uh, what else is a little bit messed up here? Um, they have the supply in a number of different positions. Right, so anywhere you have this triangle here, that is your supply air. So they've done that to kind of clean up the circuit a little bit so you don't have uh, lines going everywhere. Uh, what else? It's stuff like this, like A0. A0 is going to be for what looks like the clamp. And A0 would be the retracted position for the clamp. If you're looking for that limit switch, then you just come down and you find that same notation. So that limit switch is right there. Okay, the one for the extend, A1, that one is going to be up here. Okay, if we're looking for the retracted position for what they're calling the drill, that would be B0 for the retracted position, and B0 is right here. So they're all 3-2 limit switches, similar to the one that we have on our board. And then the extended position here for the drill, B1, is right here. Okay, so it looks like the initiating portion of this circuit, there's going to be one push button, and, right, remember that's the two pressure valve, and A0 has to be in the retracted position. So the clamp has to be in the retracted position, and we have to hit the start push button, and that's going to start the sequence of events. Okay, any questions, call me over. It looks like you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, maybe a minimum, that's not really a T right here, so a minimum of five uh, T's there. So if you're missing some T's out of your taco box, go grab them from your partner. Uh, and we don't all want to be doing this lab at the same time because we'll probably run out of T's and different components.